Hello again. Thank you, thank you for joining me on this little excursion. <laughs> Not really, but maybe a trip into a pot of a summer bloomer might be a good idea. This is uh, Phalaenopsis cornucervi variety Chatella day. And as you can see, she is in bloom. Gorgeous, gorgeous. There are two more buds to come. But she is a vigorous root grower, which I absolutely enjoy and has been in this pot now two years. I am not addressing all my summer bloomers because they have plenty of space in their pots from what I can tell. But as you can see, this one is growing vigorously outside of the pot as well. So I think bumping her up might not be such a bad idea this year. And then we can see how the other ones develop for next year. So I have new roots growing on the top here, and I'm going to now tip her in the opposite direction to avoid Lekka abrasions on the roots there. And I'm curious to see how she's done. Very well, I would say. Very well. I might not even need any utensils. Oh, maybe I do. Look at that for a root system. Yeah, that's fine. This root is branching, but I think I'm gonna take it off anyway, all the way down, because it is starting to fail here. Not that it's normally an issue, you can still work with it, but I have so many, I'm gonna be able to take that off and not have to worry about it anymore. And if I'm careful, if I'm very careful, I can actually use this LECA again without having to go and flush. Just make sure that I can take the sphagnum moss out and keep it as clean as possible. That's great. You can see that the pot is really full because I had her soaking for a couple of hours before doing this in order to dislodge any roots that may be of an issue. Right, let's have a look. I think I only need to take this one back. And there's one more, but it's branching with growing tips. It's just brown by color, but it's fine. So I'm not going to even do anything about that. What I did want to do is get these other roots into a pot, these aerial roots. Just these exterior ones, I want them tidy in a pot. So I'm just gonna go get another bigger pot and bump her up. That was easy. Well, I have to say, that was very nice. It answered another question of mine as to how they're doing in the pot. I don't have to worry so much about my other ones. Some are not as vigorous in their root production as this Cornucervi is. And despite doing a bigger pot, I'm still gonna only give it one microfiber. As we're going into winter, I want that option to be able to control it better and not worry about and my overwatering, because I haven't gone up one pot size, I've gone up two. So I've gone from a 14 centimeter to a 20. Those are my three sizes, 14, 18, and 20. Those are the options I have for this combination. I'll just pour the Lekka back in. Not too much, because she does have quite a root system, I have to say. The delight, the delight. So that was the easy part. Now let's get the outside roots in as best as possible. 
and then I'd be interested to see if they would, they will fail or not. That would be my next point of observation. As much as I like aerial roots, in some cases I do prefer them in the pot. Just gives me other options for a security of growth and not having to bash them, worry about bashing them as I move the orchid in the winter. This one I can't because it's between a leaf joint. So she's not quite centered. I just clicked a root. I don't know if you heard that snap there. Just click the surface of a root there. Just maneuvering her gently into position. And that will be it. So I have my question answered. She's doing well. I'm glad. I find summer bloomers so much easier to grow in my preferred setup here. Absolutely love it. Okay, let's go. Let's hold you. Look at how quickly the roots absorb the moisture. That was the aerial root that was dry and I have a little kink down here. Already it's green. I love it. Summer bloomers are my favorite fowls because they do well for me. So it makes it very easy to consider them a favorite. <laughs> now, let me just maneuver the sphagnum moss in such a way that I do not damage the root tips. I would like to give them, by doing this, also room to go into the pot. In hindsight, I could have taken the moss off before filling with leca, but I didn't think. I didn't think ahead. Too excited about seeing all these nice roots and just getting it re-established. I'm glad that not all repots have to be an event. <laughs> Very relaxing. I'm going to leave that one on. Final little chore here, task. And just to finish it off, in goes the label. And on goes the sphagnum moss. And that was the aerial root. Because I want these nice root tips to find their way into the leca without drying out. We're having some extremely hot wind recently. And then what I'm going to do for now is leave this one exposed to see how it does. And then possibly cover it with sphagnum moss as well. If I see that it's not doing very well, I can cut the tip off and then cover it with sphagnum moss. So, yeah. So it had a full hour and a half, almost two hours of a soak with fertilized water. I didn't use hydrogen peroxide. So I'm okay with filling the reservoir with fertilized water again. That's it, oh my goodness. Quickest repot ever. Phalaenopsis, Cornuserbi, Chat variety, Chatala day, in Lekka and self watering. Two years, great root system. I only had to chop off one, but that's not because I had to. I just felt like it because, you know, why hold on to something if it's, if you've got plenty of other things to work with? So, yeah, I took that off and easy peasy.
Thank you everybody very much for watching. Short and sweet, just how I like it. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.